Hi, this is Ryan Hoff with your AIC Legislative Minute for February 16th, 2022, brought to you by Baker Tilly. Even though we are only part of the way through this week, there's already been several changes to legislation of importance to county government. There are precious few days of community hearings left before legislation must have progressed to the full House or Senate for amendment or final approval. Already this week, House Bill 1002 was significantly amended. This is the bill which contained over a billion dollars of tax cuts, including lowering the state income tax, elimination of the double direct sales tax rule, elimination of the utility receipts tax, and of most importance to county government, erosion of the business personal property tax. Each of those tax cuts were removed in Senate committee on Tuesday. With this being one of the major pieces of legislation for the year, we recognize there will be continued negotiation between the House and Senate on this bill over the proposed tax cuts. AIC will work to make sure that the business personal property tax cuts originally in the bill do not return unless the state is taking on the fiscal impact for the cut rather than local government. Also, Senate Bill 148 was amended this week to remove language that was opposed by the County Council Association. This language would have given prosecutors the ability to spend county dollars without appropriation from the council and required that all deputy prosecutors and prosecutors staff would receive state training at county expense. Current law requires only the prosecutor themselves are trained at county expense. We would like to thank Representative Greg Sturwald and Senators Eric Cook, Stu Glick, and Mike Gaskell for their work in seeing this language removed at the request of County Council Association. Senate Bill 145, dealing with the dark box property tax assessment issue, has passed the Ways and Means Committee unanimously. After seven years of pursuing this issue with the General Assembly, this is a significant step toward finally seeing this bill passed. We would like to thank Assessor Stacey O'Day from Allen County and Councilwoman Elise Nishala of Boone County for their tireless work on this issue. This committee has typically been the roadblock to passage of reform on this issue, so we are hopeful that this legislation will finally pass after several years of pursuit. Keep an eye out for further committee action this week and early next week on bills including House Bill 1260, which is the DLGF Local Finance Bill, and Senate Bill 361, which, as I reported last week, would allow the state to claim the increment on local property tax and income taxes to fund state economic development incentive packages. AIC will continue to work on your behalf right up to adjournment of session in less than a month. Changes to legislation can happen quickly, so be sure to follow AIC's legislative updates for any potential action alerts as we approach the end of session. This has been AIC's Legislative Minute, brought to you by Baker Tilly.